Hey everybody, so in this video we're going to talk a little bit more about two-step equations this time, and we're going to show how we can represent those with a tape diagram, which is really just a visual. So let's dive in with an example. So let's say we have five friends that are all going to a festival, and they have to pay for certain things. So the first thing that each person pays is $10 for their ticket. Each person also pays X dollars for lunch, right? So we don't know the exact amount, but we know they all pay the same amount, which is just X, right? So really, each person, each individual person pays X for lunch plus the $10 for their ticket. So that should be helpful. And then all together, we know that the entire group spends $120. So they want us to take the two diagrams, the two visuals, and figure out which one is going to correctly represent uh, this situation. So first, both of them are totaling to $120. So that's correct for both. So now we just have to look at like the smaller pieces. So in diagram A, there are five blocks, five pieces that are identical. Right? The identical pieces have an X in it, meaning just the amount of lunch, the, the amount of money for lunch. So this diagram would mean, well, the five people bought their lunch, but only one person had to buy the $10 for the ticket, right? Only $10 for tickets were spent, which isn't true, right? We said every single person had to buy $10, uh, $10 for a ticket. So diagram A is not going to be right, but let's look at why diagram B must be correct. So again, there are five identical pieces here. And each part that's identical is X, which is the amount for lunch, plus the 10, which is the amount for the ticket. So X plus 10, like we said, represents what each person paid. There are five identical blocks, five people that all paid the same thing. So that's why diagram B is going to be the one that's correct. And we're going to take this and see if we can write an equation from it. So let's start with diagram B, since this is the correct one. I'm going to highlight all of the things that are identical. So we know there are five identical, meaning the same, five identical x plus 10s. So what we're going to do to start writing our equation is that we can write 5 times x plus 10. Right? Instead of adding up all the x's and then all of the 10s and combining like terms, we can just write it like this, which you might remember is our factored form. So these are five identical things that together will equal our total, which is 120. So really, the left side is all of our pieces from the tape diagram, and the right side is the total. So let's see if we can figure out what the um, equation for the top diagram A would be. Well, you know it's going to have to equal 120, right, because that's the total. So let's look at what the identical pieces are. Well, there are five identical blocks, and they're just x. So instead of writing 5 times x plus 10, we're just going to write 5x. But we still can't, we can't just lose the 10 that's on the end. We just have to write 5x, and then we're going to add the 10 to it. So similarly, all of the pieces are on the left-hand side and the total is on the right-hand side. So another way to think about this is, well, all six pieces from diagram A added together will give us the total. So we literally could have written x plus x plus x plus x plus x plus 10 equals 120. That would be totally correct. But again, this is something like we talked about. We could combine those like terms to get our 5x. So we could just kind of think about it ahead of time, or if it helps you, you can write all the terms out and then group them like we learned about. So let's talk about example two. See if you could pause this video and see if you can write um, the equation for diagram A. So I see that there are three identical pieces that are all x plus four, and then the total is 45. So pause this video, see if you can come up with the correct equation. All right, so if you got three times x plus four equals 45, you would be golden, right? There are three identical pieces. It's where the three is coming from, and each piece is x plus four. So we could set that equal to 45. 
All right, let's talk about diagram B. Same thing. I see one, two, three pieces that are identical, and each of them is worth an x. Pause the video, see if you can come up with the correct equation for this one. Don't forget about that 4 at the end. Alright, so the three identical pieces were just worth an x each, right? x plus x plus x is really just 3x, plus the 4 that was a little bit different is all going to equal the 45. So if you got both of those equations right, good for you. We're going to wrap things up with a quick multiple choice question. Example 3, so which diagram represents the following equation? So first of all, they're all equal to 101, so that is good. The totals are all correct. We just need to think about what should be the same. Well, again, wherever we have the multiplication in the problem, so this is 4 times x, the 4 tells us that is the amount of identical things, and the identical thing should be an x. So in other words, this can be broken down to x plus x plus x plus x. So let's see if we can find that in any of the diagrams. So it looks like we're at diagram C, right? I see one, two, three, four identical pieces, and each of them is worth an x. So that is good. And then, of course, we still have the plus 5 at the end that cannot be combined. So diagram C definitely looks like it's going to go with that equation that they gave us. But let's see. If we wanted to write the equation for diagram A, the purple one, well, let's see. There are one, two, three, four identical pieces. So we're going to do four times. Each of them is x plus 5. And we know that the total is just 101. So this would be the equation for that one. And then finally, if we write the equation for the green, I see a 4 plus an x plus a 5. There's really nothing that's identical there. So we can just add all three pieces, set them equal to 101. But I see some like terms. The 4 and the 5 can be combined to make this x plus 9 equals 101. And that would be the correct equation for that one. So hopefully you saw why this these tape diagrams, these visuals are really useful. They help you figure out what these two-step equations really look like visually. And then in our next lesson, we're going to start taking this and applying it to figure out how to solve, similarly to how we did it with one-step equations. So thanks for checking this out. Hopefully it helped. Um, and we'll check you back at the next one.